There are boxers. And there are finishers. Men who know how to end a fight in dramatic style. Oh, and down goes Bowder League and nearly through the run. Since I was a little boy, I always wanted to be the best in the world. Men whose fists rain down like the hammer of Thor. One sparring partner compared him sparring with me in car accident. Big exchange on oh! He gets him again! Artur Bederbiev has knocked out every opponent he's faced. While Callum Smith can send his opponents to sleep in the blink of an eye. I do like fighting up close. And another big left hand! Where they probably expect me to crumble and fall apart once they do close the gap. I'm probably just as good up close as well. You can prepare a room 100 times uh, in gym, but you, you can not do it that in the ring, you know? It's me, like Mike Tyson said, everyone will have a plan before they get punched. <laughs> On January 13th, these two warriors will collide to prove who is the best puncher once and for all. This is over in destructive fashion. This is the tale of 10 punches. Bederbiev versus Smith. Most fighters use the jab for timing and distance, but that story can change. Because what happens when you have a jackhammer of a jab? That was one of the first fights where Betabiev just exploded out of the blocks as almost like he had zero respect for Kaladzic. I remember like first round when his belt is raining. And same time in my mind come to punch him like hook, left hook. Derbiev coming out like a ball of fire. Too much punch and you get dropped, like, you know. Is back on the corner. I mean, this was a total beatdown. In round three, he drops him with a series of short punches. And then in round five, he shows off that power jab. Huge right. Wow. And now a big left, and that's it. It's not solid punch. It's like chest him, like, you know? Chest his head, like, we, we can continue this fight, but referee is still. He is a master of tactical warfare. The right weapon at the right time, the right game plan wins you fights and wins them simply. That's what he did in this contest. Part of what makes better BF so dangerous is that he doesn't have just a right hand. My goodness, he's hurt though. He has a left hook and he has a power jab. And Callum Smith is really gonna have to be wary of that. If you're Callum Smith and you're watching that, I think the number one fundamental lesson is keep your composure. This fight showed us that Bet Tbiev is very, very dangerous. Artur better be To be honest, I just try to continue. I'm not thinking about what happened with him. I think they need to think about it, not me. <laughs> Callum Smith versus Rocky Fielding, what we call in the UK a local derby. Liverpool versus Liverpool fight. Two unbeaten fighters really at the top of their game. First time in my career where I was seeing people picking me to lose and it kind of gave me a bit of a point to prove. Smith seems almost in a trance when he goes in there. Once the bell goes, the ring clears, and you're just fully focused on what you're there to do. When elite boxers go head to head, the early rounds are often cagey affairs as fighters test the mettle of their opponent, searching for a chink in the armor. And when that space appears, it's hell bent for leather. He doesn't mind about Fielding's reputed power. He goes in there and he exchanges. I didn't expect it to catch fire as quick as it did. I think that's shows in boxing. You've always got to expect the unexpected. And Fielding has got him inside the first 30 seconds. Right out of the gate, boom, Callum Smith puts on the gas. I think the first knockdown was 30 seconds in. From 30 seconds to the end of the fight, it was just get rid of him. It was a firefight whilst it lasted, but Callum Smith just blew Rocky Fielding away. The legs look unsteady from Fielding. He's up against the ropes. You can't just run in and forget about your own defence. You've still got to be aware of what's going to come back. It's the right hand upstairs that's going to do the damage. Nine times out of ten, they'll give their last hurrah. You've always got to be wary. Callum Smith, he's a great counter puncher. And it looks like it's all over right here. You just thought that Callum was always one shot away with one of those counter shots. Callum Smith wins the Battle of Liverpool. Looking back was a great achievement. I was so focused on reaching the very top. A young star has arrived. This is his first notch on that ladder of success.
Combinations are practiced over and over until a fighter can use them without thought. Existing in a space of muscle memory and lightning fast reactions, one perceives an attack and then an explosion of instinct. Just unrelenting combinations, left hands, right hands. And he was prepared to walk through the fire to land his own shots. I think that's part of better BF strategy. He wants to bring Bozdick to him. In my strategy, I let him punch me. I need to keep coming, you know? And there's another right hand to the body from better BF. Bozdick was in the fight. Whilst he may have been winning the battle, he wasn't winning the war. Better BF feels like he's the dominant man tonight. It's palpable. Hard fight. Back and forth. Beautiful right hand exchange from both guys. The tenth round, he shows his metal. Better BM is mauling right now. Right uppercut comes in from Better BM. During ten round, there is no one punch. I did what it was. And there's a right hand that comes over the top. Ba 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 ba. A short left hand on the inside. Those that gets hurt. Straight punches, left and right, combination to finish his foe. Trying to come over the top with a right hand. That's it. It's over. One of the best finishers in all of boxing. A dominating 10th round by Better BF. And Better BF continued just to enhance that reputation. Going into the George Groves fight, I think he had a very good reputation. He obviously was world champion. He was considered the number one in the world at the time. George Groves was already a massive household name in the UK. This was a really big fight. That was the, the underdog going into the fight. I was the better underdog, not many people. Give me a chance. This was the fight that Callum Smith cut his teeth at elite level. That was a chance to become the best in the world, and I had a very good camp for it. He likes people coming to him so he can time them, and I knew I had to just use my size, take centre of the ring, but not go to him as much. Smith, he's waiting patiently. Make him have to commit to me. We saw Smith show presence of mind and great ring generalship. And I knew it was a matter of time of when I'd land the right shots, and I knew when I did, I'd get rid of him. Right hand success from Smith! George Gross lost his balance momentarily! One of the hardest techniques for a pugilist to master are finishing skills, an ability that goes beyond the art of a one-punch knockout. A true finisher, much like an animal hunting its prey, stalks their opponent, waiting, waiting, and then unleashes. And a left hook has put George Groves on unsteady legs. It's the quick left hook from Callum Smith. A very impressive punch. Callum Smith is looking to tee off. I knew I would find the gaps at some point, and I landed a good catch left too, which is one of my better shots. And George Groves' championship reign has come to an end. Uh, there was a big right hand, and then the body shot absolutely robbed George Groves, a, a proud champion of everything that he had left. And that left up comes across. It really is a cracking punch. I scrambled him a little bit and then went in for the finish and good body shots, the one that finally got me the win. Before that fight, he had knocked out lesser opponents, but George Groves, even though he was at the end, was an accomplished fighter. And we have a new champion! I beat a, a very good fighter and I will finally become one of the best on the planet. It's still the best feeling I've ever had in my career. Boxing at its core is a pair of fighters trying to impose their will physically on an opponent. But the mental aspect of the sport is critical. Beyond the vicious sinew is guile, subterfuge, and the setup. And when one weapon creates vulnerability to the second. For everyone, like, you need to prepare. But with Marcus Brown, there is another think more. Because Marcus Brown is Salpa. When you box with Salpa, it's a little bit different, right? Marcus Brown popping that jab early from the south, south pass stance. Better Biev was conscious that he was losing rounds. Not a lot of jabs from Better Biev so far. But that he had his confidence in his own ability that he could claw the fight back. He might lose some in the early rounds, but that doesn't mean that he's losing control of the fight. This was the most adversity Better Biev had ever faced. That cut is pouring blood from the forehead of Better Biev. I mean, that cut was disgusting. It was right in the middle of his forehead. When I get cut, my blood is not stop, stop. He's bleeding, bleeding. Hard body shot from Better BM as he goes back downstairs with the left hand. When you prepare for for fight, for like, you know, different scenarios, different some things, like, you need to be ready for that. Better BM is a tough man to contend with. 
Better Biev is studying, downloading data, and eventually he is going to find a way to knock you out. Better Biev, this is where he wants to be. He wants to keep his guy trapped in the world. He found a home for the left hook to the body. You can just hear the power of Better Biev. The sound of those punches. You're talking about someone banging a bass drum. Eight seconds left to go in the round as Better Biev finds some openings. I remember he he get for labor. When is I go to head you, I already there. <laughs> you already down. He has you hurt. Good oh, shot to the body. Beautiful left hook to the body. He's always dangerous to the head, but it was actually the time that he invested in the body that actually started the beginning of the end. And again, to Marcus Brown's credit, he's hurt, but he's trying to make adjustments. Once again, showed off his impressive combination punching. Better be at all over him. He just dug a hole for Brown. He dismantled Brown. He took his soul, if you like. How much more can Marcus Brown take? I do just try to do my job. For centuries, military tacticians have waxed lyrical about the importance of maintaining high ground. And when a fighter possesses this same advantage in the squared circle, the spirits of Sun Tzu, Hannibal, and George Patton can be channeled into a single punch. The Adam fight was very special for me. It was first world title defense. I think as a fighter, you always dream of walking the ring as a world champion. Stalking Adam. I knew he was a clever fighter. He had good back foot boxing ability. Still was pressure on Smith to deliver. He knows he needs to come out and impress. And really get Adam out of there quickly. If Endom goes the distance or lingers too long, people will say that Callum Smith is not all that. Nice left hand, and down goes... I remember being a little bit frustrated because the round one knocked down and the round two, both cans have come right at the end of the round. Smith looking to tee off. Endom losing his footing. It got open, then the bell went, and I remember thinking, this is going to be one of them nights. And another big left hand! Callum Smith is a cool calm and composed fighter early on. Hassan and Dam just walked right into the trap. The knockdown round three was a good right hand that no, definitely did deserve the fight to be finished. Smith did right hand, a punishing blow! Cal Smith threw a short right hand, but it was like a cannon going off. And that is it! Cal Smith, I think, is a lot better at range but he showed against the end arm that he can also finish on the inside too with that chopping right hand. It's a funny feeling when you land the perfect shot. That was a huge right hand. The knockout punches, you don't really feel any impact. It's like you punch straight through them. It's the varied attack. That's what we want to see from our fighters. We don't want them to fall in love with one punch. Callum Smith, thank you very much and good night. He has an appetite for the big occasion. Some nights don't go to plan, but that was one that definitely did go to plan. This looked like a great fight. Joe Smith Jr., big, strong, powerful, aggressive, loves to come forward. The perfect foil, though, for better beer. Touch good luck, good luck. Puncher versus puncher. He has ambition. She like angry, you know? <laughs> Joe Smith is a really dangerous puncher. We saw him wobble Dimitri Bivol, so we knew better Beav was gonna be facing some danger in that fight. Joe Smith is doing the right thing by pressing the issue, trying to set the tone and trying to get a shot through. I had two belts, he had one belt, like, I mean, it's unification fight. It's very big motivation for, for a young guy, you know? <laughs> There's a right hand from Better Beer. Joe Smith Jr. once the first bell rang, the game plan went out the window. It's a heavy, heavy shot, it's a clubbing shot. Oh, off balance, that's a slip. He thought, let's make it a dog fight. You know, power punchers, they just don't punch at the target, they punch through the target. We have planned first since first round, like we do, like and everything is going well. Better be it's more like a steam engine. It's chugging uphill after the first few rounds. And I just continue like to do it. Our plan, you know. The overhand right is arguably the most powerful punch in boxing. But executing this lethal move, that takes courage and timing. Make a sliver of a mistake, and you're off balance, opened up, and in danger. On this occasion, he was arcing it over like a big looping right hand. And it, all it was doing was catching Joe Smith Jr. high on the head and discombobulating him. Smith coming forward behind the jabs. Oh, off balance and scores the knockdown, does better be it. Joe Smith Jr. already on wobbly legs from the knockdown in round one. And it's a scary thought to look up into the opposing corner and see Archer Betterbiev looking back at you. And that was at the end of the first round. The writing was already on the wall. Look at this on the inside here in round two. 
Better be was so patient. He let Joe Smith apply all the pressure, and I'm sure Smith was thinking that his best chance was to get Better be out of there early. Big exchange on oh! He gets him again! He's so dangerous from so many angles. He is looking to finish his opponent. There's a hook! There's an uppercut! Better be is on the attack! Joe Smith is crumbling again into the ropes! I show him, like, go here and punch here, like, you know. Joe Smith, he's a sitting duck to get knocked out. He might sit back and box. He might take shots himself, but he's looking to finish. He's got the weapons, and that overhand right is one of them. Another right hand. Uppercut. Big uppercut. He is stumbling, and this is over. He's a scary man. You don't want to fight this guy, and if you have to, you're going to have to stick to your game plan. Joe Smith Jr. paid the price. If the first essential punch for a fighter is the jab, <laughs> then the next key piece of their arsenal is the straight right. For many warriors in the ring, it can be their most effective power punch. But there is a trade-off, a cost. One's enemy has a greater chance to move in and wreak havoc. So Callum Smith returns after losing his super middleweight belts to Saul Canelo Alvarez. And he makes his debut at light heavyweight. They were question marks, probably for the first time over Callum Smith. It was what it was. It was a comeback fight after the loss, but the Castillo fight was offered, and it's probably a tougher fight than what I expected to come back to because I knew he was quite dangerous. And when I got to fight me, I knew there was kind of a lot of question marks around me. How will he be after the loss? Because a lot of fighters aren't the same coming back from a loss. And what he shows in this fight is that he loves the sense of occasion. Callum Smith just wipes the floor with him and really delivers a scary knockout. I just let the right hand go. It was a shot that I wouldn't say I worked on a camp, but I felt like it was improving on the body. And he pulls off a brutal right hand knockout. It's weird, it happens really fast, but it kind of happens in slow motion as well. And I remember just threw a right hand and then went to follow it with the left hook. This was one of the scariest knockouts I've ever seen with my own eyes. The shot itself, it just happened so quickly. He's arrived, he's carried his power up to light heavyweight from super middleweight, and he's made a statement. It was a, probably a good way to announce himself to a division which I had plans to, to reach the top of. Beyond an expression of shocking power, the straight right can bail out a fighter treading into the troubling depths of deep waters. Archer Betterbiev, we've seen him be flawless in the ring, undefeated, knocked out every single opponent. Who is gonna test him? Enter Anthony Yard. Good shot by Anthony Yard. Amazing physicality, Anthony Yard. Heavy puncher, known to be a destructive knockout merchant. Better be a making mistakes. Yard has got to punish him. This was a highly anticipated matchup. Yard was a younger man. He's fresher. He's fit. Great left hand again from Yard. That's been the punch for him so far. First round, always like, you know, you, you do some check, like, how he's going, like. What he do, you let him do something. Better BF has a habit of growing into fights. If there are vulnerabilities, they are early. Yard was a big puncher. Could he put a dent in Better BF? Yard's had a lot of success early. Could Better BF stand up to that big right hand of Anthony Yard? That made Better BF go back a bit. That was a cracker. We start uh, with jabs. Good war, like with jabs. <laughs> First round, they know. <laughs> Just started to find that jab with a bit more regularity of the champion. What makes Arthur better be have great TV is that he's vulnerable too. To the armor of the great Russian champion. And early in that fight against Anthony Yard, he was rocked by a few shots. Yes! Yard's having most success with those short left hooks and the uppercuts. That seems to be the way for him. What's extraordinary about better be have he weathered a huge hail of bullets, if you like, from the fists of Yard in the earlier rounds. To be at face. We want to keep him to this position like all these seven rounds. He knows, he senses that he's hurt the champion here. But come the eighth round, he sensed the killing time. He can turn the fight in an instant better there. For that punch, like I see his like window to punch there. Way with that jab. Arthur Better be have a straight right hand is one of the best punches in all of boxing. 
a thunderous punch from Betsy He was always one shot away from bringing the momentum back to himself. Betsy Biev can sense the finish, and it's all over. Better Biev is a freight train that runs you over, and even when he's going through adversity, he'll find a way to get out of it. In life, not just sports, there's often a sacrifice to be made between power and speed. But in rare instances, the fusion of both is a sight to behold, beautiful and fearsome in equal measure, as when a blindingly fast hook finds that sweet, sweet purchase. So in 2022, Callum Smith, the world tour continued. He was back in Jeddah, where he had won the World Boxing Super Series, fighting Mathieu Baudelic. I think I'd been out the ring for, was it 11 months? which isn't ideal, and then to fight a kind of slick, tricky southpaw is probably the last style you want to go in against after a long layoff. Everybody was actually thinking that this was a difficult fight. For Callum Smith, he wants to prove that he's a threat to all the titles. Something at stake for beating him. I ever beat him, I was next in line to fight for the world title. Interesting fight when the first bell rang. Border League just sprung out of the traps. Oh, tight left hook from Callum Smith. They trade hooks on the inside, and Bowder League landing some good shots of his own. I knew if I stay patient and done what, what I was good at and listened to Buddy that I would get to him eventually and I'd be able to start landing shots. Good left hook on the inside, the inside there from Callum Smith. I remember Callum Smith's trainer saying to him, this is all nervous energy, you know, just let him burn himself out. Callum Smith, go to the body, don't worry about his head. And there he goes, left hook to the body and another one. Smith is throwing everything hard at this point. Going into the fourth round, I, f I remember it was probably the first time in the fight where I was pretty settled. Good body shot there from Smith. Oh, good shot from Smith! I started to see signs of him slowing a little. Bowder League on shaky legs. And then I say I landed a good left hook. Oh, and down goes Bowder League and nearly through the rug. And I can remember silence in the arena. I mean, how many times have you seen that in Cam Smith's career? It's a good shot. It's won me a few fighters, got me out of trouble a few times. Hopefully, it can win me three new world titles. When Callum Smith steps into the ring to face Artur Bedebiev, he will attempt to do what no man has done before, stop the most ferocious puncher in the sport. It's always what it means next. When you never know how he's going in fight, it's always, like, different. In boxing, sometimes it is mind over might, timing, footwork. Stamina can turn the tide against a seemingly unstoppable force. That was a cracker by Vetsipedia. Is Callum Smith going to get that opportunity? And now Callum Smith is looking to tee off. To swarm Archer Betterbeev. How do you stop a man like Archer Betterbeev? Betterbeev wants to close the show. I don't think he's fought anyone like me. I mean, I haven't fought anyone like him. On January 13th, two champions will face a challenge like none they've seen before. I want to do every next fight better than last fight. Will power prevail? Better be on the attack! Or strategic savvy? A punishing blow! I do think I'm the best he's fought, and I think I'll be the first to beat him.